In this quick and easy beginner's guide, I will show you how to use your Kindle, how to browse, download, read books, get back to home and library, some overviews and instructions about some basic and most important functions and settings that you can follow and enjoy on your Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition. Now first of all, after unboxing your device, press on this power button to wake it up. And please make sure to set up your Kindle, you will need an Amazon account that you can register with your Kindle. Now to set it up first, select your language and then your region. Select the process you want to set up your Kindle either by the Kindle app or manually. Connect your Kindle with your Wi-Fi network. Register your Kindle to your Amazon account by putting down the ID and password. If you don't have an account, you can create one from right here. If you already have an existing account like mine, just go ahead, sign in and follow the prompts. Select if you are setting up this Kindle for yourself or for your kid. Don't worry, you can also set up a key to account later after you've set up your Kindle. You can also connect with your Goodreads account later. Just keep the spurs that you don't need right now. The setup is complete. I have some free installed books on my Kindle. If you don't have one, your home and library will be empty, just except from some dictionaries that's provided from Kindle. You can download and transfer books from a variety of process. You can send the books via email right from your computer or you can buy books right from here. You can either go through this recommendation section and select the books you want to buy or you can search for that book in here. Also, if you tap on this door icon, you can browse through your books and select and buy or download whatever book you want. To buy a book for the first time, you'll need to add your credit card and payment details. Whatever book you transferred or bought from here will appear on your home and also on your library. You can open any book from your library or your home page. Just tap on the books and it will open. To turn page, swipe left. To go back to the previous page, swipe right. Also, if you swipe from your bottom, you can forward chapter by chapter. You can also see all the pages by tapping on this icon and all the page will appear and you can change right from here. And you can quickly go to the page that you want. While reading, if you want to change the font, expand your two fingers on your screen to increase the font size pinch to decrease it. While reading, you can take notes by highlighting it, just press and hold and drag. You can also add a note to it. And whenever you want, you can also access all your highlighted sections and notes. If you press and hold on a word, it will open up a dictionary and Wikipedia. You can also translate the word to whatever language you want right from here. If you tap once on the top of your screen, it will open up a bunch of tools and settings. From there, you can select the themes, the font, layout, Add page numbers, clocks, book mentions, highlight, and page turn animation. Whenever you want to go back to your home page or library, just tap once on the top of your screen, and from here you can just go back to your home or library. At the middle of the bottom section, your recently opened book will always show. If you tap on it, it will go back to the exact page that you left. If you want to change and read another book, go back to your home or library, and then just tap on another book to open it. The last and recently opened book will appear in this section. Now, whenever you're done with reading, you can just press once on this power button and your Kindle will end up with this screensaver. Press once again to wake up your Kindle again. If you press and hold this button, you can either restart your device or just turn off the screen. Similarly, just press once to wake up your screen. There are also a bunch of settings that you can access. Just swipe down your screen. You can turn off and on the airplane mode whenever you want. Sync your Kindle to the cloud, just in case you're sending some books from your email. Use dark mode if you want. You can also connect Bluetooth devices, just in case you're listening to any audiobook. Change the brightness settings according to your own preference and comfort and also warmth. If you go to the all settings from your account, you can access a bunch of information about your Amazon account. You can add household members, share books with them. In parental control, you can create a separate account for your kid on Amazon Kids. Do you register this device from your Amazon account if it comes to that? Add some customized personal information in here. Connect this device with your Godrich account if you want. And also you can view your unique Kindle email address that you send your books to that will appear on your Kindle right away. We have a video about how to use this email address to send books to your Kindle. If you go back from this Wi-Fi and Bluetooth section, you can change or reconnect with your Wi-Fi, connect and access all your Bluetooth devices. Also, you can change the volume after connecting with your Bluetooth device. Device option will open up a bunch of other settings, like the device info. If you want to have a software update on your Kindle, you can change date and time and clock format. 
check out the language dictionary on keyboard settings, set a lock screen pin for your Kindle security, manage your storage page just in case it fills up, turn on whisper sync if you want and power saver mode. Also, from here you can restart and factory reset your device. By the way, from anywhere on your settings from this three dot menu, you can check out your device info along with restart and reset to factory default option. We've already shown the screen on brightness and accessibility. You can use voice view screen reader if on Kindle to all the operations read it out loud for you. Also, you can change the appearance from light to dark right from here. From library tab, you can check out your collections on Audible if you are connected with your Audible account. Check out some reading options, including page refresh and vocabulary builder. Last but not the least, you can charge your Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition with a Type-C charger or a wireless charger, whatever is available to you. So these are all the basic settings and functions on your Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition that you can set and change according to your own preference and comfort. Hope this video was helpful. Happy reading.